What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're having a fantastic day today and today I have a very exciting model review for y'all. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Phoenix models 1 to 400 scale Lutanza Airlines Airbus A340-300 in the Star Alliance livery. I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video as this is a really cool model from Phoenix and I'm so excited to have this for a variety of reasons. Now I'm excited to take you all along for the journey so without any further delay let's go ahead and take a look at this box guys. So here it is by Phoenix. A really cool box here. I'm assuming this is some sort of cap building in Germany or equivalent so you can see that here on the front it was a 300 star alliance one important scale skill registration Delta Alpha India Gulf Charlie here's the bottom of the box got this from the Los Angeles airline collectible show in January of 2024 from a great friend of mine that I see throughout these collectible shows too who shout out to you Michael for selling this to me I really appreciate it. here's the back of the box as well and outside that pretty standard Phoenix box it looks really good so overall very glad to have this one and let me not waste any further time and go ahead and bring the star to show onto the table so the reason that I chose to get this model is because these I've seen several of these throughout uh, various airports in the United States in uh, 2022 and 2023. What immediately comes to mind is Chicago, Denver and Dallas and Atlanta. And I've got to see the Star Alliance live around these Lutanda A340-300s at least three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. It's been several times, but at Denver and Dallas. So, and uh, Chicago as well. So just too good an opportunity to pass up this aircraft. It's so nice. And I've been eyeing it down for quite a while. And luckily it worked out this time. So, so glad to have this aircraft. It looks really great as you all can tell. So I'm gonna take you through all the characteristics of the Airbus A340 from Phoenix and also this Star Alliance Lutanza example that we have here today. So we're not gonna waste any further time. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera, zoom it on in, and we're gonna take a look at this gorgeous Airbus A340 here by Phoenix Models. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into details guys here's the cockpit windows along with the nose cone it looks absolutely amazing got some pita tubes along with the Lutons logo right there looking very good here's star alliance logo the small one i should say along with the l1 door right here that has some really good uh lever and window detail right here taking a look underneath here we got the nose landing gear nose landing gear door i know i've mentioned this all the time but i'll mention it again because why not how about the silver trim around those wheels from phoenix i think they look really cool so that's certainly a very nice see right there here's the star part with between the l1 and the l2 door and of course you got your first class in the business class area so that's fantastic here's the Lutonza billboard titles right there uh, I still am glad that they kept the navy blue on it I think it looks really cool it's really tough to see so certainly I see that a cup uh, Lutonza has two three or four of the star lines a340s one of them at least has the logo for Lutons on it most of them don't though so and some of them just have star lines on it I think so pretty unique variation between these Airbus a340s here's the small satcom box or whatever exactly it is and then of course you got the L2 door and then this probably starts the economy plus area. It might be business still, I'm not completely sure, but then you go into premium economy, main cat, or sorry, uh, economy plus, and then of course economy. So looking very good there as well. Uh, here we have the Alliance, so it's A-L-L-I-A-N-C-E. -I, I really like how Star Alliance has a really thin thought on their title, so let me know what you all think about that, but I think that's one of the coolest parts of the Star Alliance special delivery, so that looks really nice right there. This is a two-piece mold, as you can see, so as you can tell, the roots right there, and it looks really good, so you get the leading edge, leading edge light, and of course, you got these gorgeous engines right here. They look absolutely fantastic right there. I think Phoenix did a really good job with the leveling of the pylon and also the engine. It looks really nice and fluid. You can also see the fan blades there look really good. So there's a nice view of that. Also the wing, which also kind of tilts down a little bit once it gets going, if that makes sense, which is really good detail. So you can see where it goes up and then comes back down. So overall, that looks really good. And I think it looks absolutely fantastic right there. And here's the back wing area and you can see those main landing gears too. Note how you only have one in the middle there as opposed to the 34600 that would have two. So that's really cool to note. But the wing detail is absolutely fantastic. They did a good job on that with all the various markings and putting out exactly where it's supposed to be. I personally think it looks really great. So good job there by Phoenix for doing a really good job. And sorry about that line, just trying to get that out of the way so you all don't have to look at that. But anyways, looking really good. Okay, back into the aircraft we go. You can see we have the Wi-Fi box here. The L3 door right next to the C Star Alliance goes pretty much throughout the whole fuselage. And I think it's the right ratio. I don't think it's too much, but I also don't think it's too little. So that's really nice. And then another antenna before you get the rest of the economy and then the last stubby antenna that you can barely see right there but it is there then the titles right there say airbus e340 300 and some sort of city i think it starts with a w and perhaps it's on the box let me take a look here uh, i might be the city 
it might be the box it might have the city that's supposed to represent on there but unfortunately i don't see it anywhere on the box so i'm not exactly sure what city it is but nevertheless you do have the registration which is delta alpha india gulf charlie and then you have the l4 door followed by the beautiful star alliance logo here on the tail i think it looks really good it comprises of five of these delta widget shapes i'm not exactly sure uh triangles to be more particular but yeah, it's kind of interesting that you got the Delta reference inside the Star Alliance logo, which is pretty interesting because it's pretty much the same exact design that Delta has on their aircraft. So overall, it looks really good. Get the APU horizontal stabilizers, all the rest of that full detail. I personally think it looks really good, and I think they did a really good job on that. So good job by Phoenix for representing that adequately and accurately. Adequately and accurately, if uh, I didn't get both those off fluidly enough. So anyways, looking really good. I did uh, forget to note there is that Lutonza logo right there, so perhaps that's it right there. You also have the windshield wipers and the cockpit windows, which look really good. Anyways, right side's pretty similar outside of the cargo door there between the H and the S. And you got one back here as well, along with a luggage door. So that also looks absolutely fantastic right there. Guess what I'm gonna say, to say the least. Top of the uh, aircraft looks really good. You got some good detail throughout there. And overall, I think Phoenix did a good job with the markings on the top of the fuselage along with the wings, like I was mentioning earlier. Bottom of the aircraft also looks really good. You do have the red antenna right here, which is really nice. You do have some sort of gold piece right there, which I don't think these were glued on to my knowledge, but nevertheless, it's not a huge issue as they still look very good. And overall, this aircraft looks really nice. You got the air inlet markings there. So overall, really good detail on this one, the 400 Airbus E340, it looks really good. So just some other various views of it. Uh, looking around it from this perspective. But overall, I think this is a really nice model. Again, I've seen it many times, so it was too good an opportunity to get. And yes, I do have several Lutons at this point. I really wanted the Retro 748, but Lutons has a bunch of really cool planes and they're very prominent around the United States flying their aircraft too, obviously. They're Germany hubs with Lut uh, sorry Munich and Frankfurt. So I've seen several Lutons. I re most recently saw this at Denver the other day, which was really cool. And I'm glad I was able to catch up before they uh, this is being recorded in February of 2024, by the way, before they had their unfortunate sequence of events with regards to the crew uh, issues that they've had, and they've had to cancel many flights. So I really hope that gets better soon. It's really unfortunate to see that, but I'm not sure what more uh, we can do, unfortunately, obviously as aviation enthusiasts, besides hope that it gets better because I would like to see more of their aircraft, but fortunately, Flights have been getting canceled left and right, so I've only been able to see a few of their flights lately. So hopefully that gets fixed, and I would love to see them get back intact there, hopefully very soon, because uh, that's really unfortunate what's going on with those current situations right there, right now. So anyways, really cool model. Let me go ahead and give you one more zoomed in view here before we conclude today's video. And again, I really hope that you all enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think about the Airbus A340-300 mold and Phoenix in the comment section below, and also about my camera and not being willing to focus correctly because it's certainly not what I like to see and I'm sure many of you don't like to see that either so I'm trying to get that fixed before we conclude today's video but at this point it might just be a lost cause there we go so anyways I really hope you all enjoyed this review let me know what you think in the comment section below but nevertheless that'll do it for today's video everybody thank you all so much for watching I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my name is Red Red Aviation take it easy everybody stay safe just process do you love and love you do my name is Red Red Aviation well, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all soon as Red Red Aviation is signing Ah. Uh.